Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to Flat Tutorials and this is the UI series. This is the fourth episode of the UI series and today we're going to talk about the text element in the UI system. So let's open up Unity and all and uh, I have a new scene right here and uh, all this scene have is a canvas holding a panel and that panel is holding a text element and that text element holding another text element which is basically a paragraph and the parent of that text element which is also a text is uh, heading. Okay, so in order to create a text element, all you gotta do is right click on the hierarchy panel, uh, go to the UI, then create a text element. Or you can cl click on this create button, go to UI, create a text element, or go ahead over here on the game object, create UI and text element. Okay, so once you create a text element, you're gonna notice that you have a new component to attach to it, and this is called text. Uh, that's a text component, okay? So um, the first thing that uh, you're gonna see in that element is a text box where you can write your text, which will gonna show up in the UI element. So if I write anything over here, it will gonna show up in the UI element. This uh, text box works like, uh, just like a standard text box. So if you press enter, it will gonna create a new line. Uh, all these standard functionalities, nothing much to it. Okay, okay. Uh, now, if you go down, and you're gonna notice that th this is uh, the character panel. Now, this holds uh, this holds how you get, how your text is gonna look in the UI element. So, the first thing that you're gonna notice it has is called a font. Now, the default type, the default font that Unity provides is Arial. Um, if you want to have your own font, your custom font, uh, the font that I have downloaded is from dafont.com. So. Yeah, I just downloaded it, uh, and you should have your custom font in your assets so that uh, Unity can access it. And all you gotta do in order to use that font is drag that font onto this font variable, and we're gonna change the font on the UI element. Font style holds how your font is gonna look. So if you go ahead and click on uh, any of these settings, bold, italic, bold and italic, bold or normal. Uh, it's gonna behave according to that. Font size is the size of the font. That's it, that's the size of the font. Okay, and now if the size of the font is too big to fit in the rect of the UI element, um, it will not be visible in the UI element So uh, unless the overflow settings are used. So if I go ahead and click on vertical overflow, and we're gonna overflow the settings, uh, the overflow the text. Okay, um, uh, line spacing. What is line spacing? Basically, it's just the um, distance between the lines. So if I go ahead and change it, you're gonna see the distance between the lines is changing. That's it. Rich text is uh, a property um, so that you can use the markup tags in the uh, text panel. Now, what I mean by that, if you go ahead and do a little Google search and search for markup tags, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna come up with some uh, sort of tag, something like this. Okay, so if I go ahead and create these two arrows, and I'm gonna go ahead and type I, and at the end, I'm gonna go ahead and type um, slash I. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn this. Um, let me just increase the font size so that you can see. There you go. Uh, th it will gonna turn this guy into uh, uh, the italic uh, font style. So if I go ahead and uncheck rich text, I can uh, I can no longer use uh, the tags. So this is a unit of the tags. Now one more example of that is bold. So if I go ahead and type B, you notice. This turns to bold. Okay, I'm just gonna decrease it. There you go. Um, alignment. What is alignment? So if you go ahead and uh, and set your left align, it will gonna align all the text on the left side. So if if I go ahead and click on center align, it will gonna align um, the text on the horizontal axis in the middle. Uh, if I go ahead on the right, it will gonna assign, uh, align all the text on the right sides on the horizontal axis. 
Um, this is for the vertical one. So if I if I go ahead and click on top, if we're gonna align the text from the top of the uh, UI element, set it to middle, and we're gonna assign it to the middle. Set to bottom, and we're gonna assign it to the bottom. Align to the bottom. Sorry. Okay. Let's use these standard settings. Now, horizontal overflow, what it means. So if you um, go here and uh, see, there are two properties that horizontal overflow have, and it is wrap and overflow. Now, um, wrap makes your text to wrap around a rect. Now, that rect is the uh, rect of the UI element. So if I go ahead and uh, set it to overflow, it will gonna overflow the bounds of the rect. So um, uh, overflow the bounds on the horizontal axis. So uh, keep in mind. Uh, so it is good to have it to set to wrap. Vertical overflow, what does it mean? Now if I go ahead and select my heading and if I go ahead and increase the size, font size, and uh, once the font size is big enough to exceed the limits of the rect, it will gonna uh, it will not be visible. So if you want your text to overflow the bounds on the vertical axis, all you gotta do is click on overflow. Okay, and it will gonna make your uh, text to overflow um, the r bounds of the rect. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk about the best fit. Now, this uh, is a very good option. Uh, now, if you select this, you're gonna have two parameters called minimum size and maximum size. Now, uh, what Unity does is uh, when the best fit is selected, uh, Unity will ignore all the settings uh, uh, on the size and it will gonna adjust the font to fit into the rect in any way. So, what I mean by that is if I go ahead and resize it, you're gonna see that it will gonna uh, fit the text and try every possible thing to fit it inside the rect. Now if I go ahead and change the minimum size, if I change the minimum size to something like 22, if I go back, it will not be visible if the text is smaller than 20. You can also set the maximum size so that you can have uh, bigger text. There you go. Color changes the color of the text, as it says. Okay, so you can have any type of color. You can even have it change dynamically. Now I'm going to give you a great example of dynamic text. Um, just to wait for a second. Okay, so I'm going to run the scene right here, and over here I get a canvas with a text element attached to it, and I script that um, changes this text element dynamically. Now this um, text element shows the distance between the player and this game object with this trash talker game object. Alright, so if I go ahead and you can see that I have a UI named variable, it is a UI.text and the text element that is assigned to it, um, hold on, let me just make the text a bit more bigger so that you can see it. There you go. So if, uh, if you go ahead and we have, I have a UI variable and the, the uh, data type is UI.text so I can have a text component assigned to it which is basically the distance um, text element and what I'm doing is I'm calculating the distance between the player and the transform which is um, the trash talker, okay? So the, uh, and I'm rounding the whole value to an integer so that uh, it can not go out of bounds of the rect and I'm assigning that text to that element there you go and if I play the game you will notice that the distance is changing as I go near him so if I go away from him it's going to show the distance between me and the trash talker it doesn't really matter what I said the text in the scene, but once I hit play, it will gonna dynamically change the text, so it doesn't really matter what you have said it to before the game is running. Okay. So hi I hope that you understand everything pretty damn well. And if you do, please like uh, this video. 
Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna be doing some awesome stuff after this series um, and uh, with the UI, the UI elements. So keep uh, keep on uh, keep your eye on that. And yeah, I hope so that you guys liked it. And if you do, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Um, or you can post it on my Facebook page, which is also a link in the description down below. I hope so that you liked this episode, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, and yeah, bye.